Wizard, sir! That's quite a win, Captain! Let out some sand! Shay, you are a sight for sore eyes. Jack? Colonel Monroe surrendered to General Moncal. The French and their Abenaki allies took Fort Henry. Johnson was supposed to bring reinforcements here. I don't see anyone else. The Abenaki are restless. They don't understand the terms of surrender and refuse to heed Moncal. The Colonel and his men were released this morning. They're walking into an ambush. Wait here in case Johnson arrives. I'll... I'll protect the Colonel. Thank you. Maybe I can finally repay my debt to him. I 
hope I'm not too late. Good work, men. The last of them. Master Cormac. Sir, we must hurry. We should bring what's left of your men to the Morgan. A welcome offer, Captain Cormac. Follow me. Safe passage is ahead. So if you don't mind me asking, what happened at Fort William Henry? Poor planning and poor luck, I am afraid. Montcalm was able to bombard us for days. Damn frog. Actually, he acted with great honor. When we sent for Parley, he returned an offer far more generous than anticipated. We kept our arms, and more importantly, our colors. Only to walk into a trap. I would hardly expect the French to defend us. Would you? No, I wouldn't. You continue to prove your loyalty to the Templars, Master Cormac. Risking your life for me. We're not out of the woods yet, Colonel. As for my loyalty, well, I do owe you, don't I? You saved my life, gave me a second chance. We have been working together for a year now. During that time, you have rendered many great services. Whatever debt you imagine you have towards me is paid, wouldn't you say? Perhaps. Take out as many as I can. your men moving. I'll scout ahead and signal if there's trouble. Sensible strategy. Very well. I will lead my men around
They will not relent. Kasegawase. You know this man, Master Cormac. Aye, Colonel. He is one of Achilles' men. An assassin, as I was. So they know I am a Templar. And now this assassin knows you live. And work with Templars. I'm no fool, Colonel. The assassins will come after me next. We're both targets now. You know that's a trap, right? Indeed, Master Cormac. But we have little choice. We survived French cannons, we will survive this. My life, Master Cormac. As do I, Colonel. We have much to discuss. However, I must tend to my troops. Sir, I will accompany you to Johnson's training post at Onokwaga. Then I shall depart at once. Master Cormac, meet me there. Adore a girl who's plump and rough. Absence of gallants. When your money's all gone, it's a safe. Oh! 
So get up, Jack John, sit down. Hey, come along, come along, you jolly brave boys. There's plenty more grog in the jar. Well, now the riny ocean like a jolly rowing car. When Jack saw shore, he'll make his way to some old boarding house. He's welcomed in with rum and gin, likewise with pork and scouse. He'll spend and spend and never open till he lies drunk on the ground. When his money's all gone, it's the same old song. Get up, Jack Johnson. Ready, boys? It's a camp. Let's rise the top. Oh, let's rise. We will. Pull in sails. We don't give a damn when the gale Mates has out. stopped. So oh, <laughs> hard the wind did blow. We're homeward bound. Tis a grand old sound on a good ship called Henry. We don't give a damn when we drink or rum with the girls on Old Maui. Rolling down to Old Maui. Ice, the sleet and rain And token of bronze The tropical lands We soon shall see again Expelling once we pass away In the cold Kamchatka sea And now we're bound From the Arctic ground Rolling town to old Maui Rolling town So, Colonel, it seems my life is an open book to you. Men from my regiment found you delirious and half-drowned. I did not know who you were. But what you were was obvious. I brought you to the Finnegans for care. Their late son was one of our order. Master Johnson was furious. It was a risk. But I suspected you might have left your brothers behind. Colonel, the manuscript... Why return it to me? Because, Master Cormac, you earned my trust. It could not be in better hands. Respectfully, sir, I'm more of a target than you now. Gentlemen, Kisigawase is rallying to storm Albany. His allies threaten a friendly Oneida village, and French troops have already entered our territory. Might be able to delay the French and help the Oneida. We will ready the defenses in Albany. If we are to defeat Kasegawase and his allies, I need to help the Oneida and see what I can do about the French.
to pry, but would you happen to know if Kesegawase has any weaknesses? He hasn't any. He was a scout and mercenary long before he joined the Assassins. May Lady Luck be with you, then. I make my own luck. The Colonel exerts a certain amount of control over the army, or part of it anyway. But we'll need both the soldiers and their native allies if we're to set up a proper defense against Kesegawase. Kesegawase has allies in every tribe that sided with the French, as well as many others. Trappers, hunters, scouts. We'll need all the help we can muster. What's in the cave? Alert, men. I get into... as we hold the old woman hostage. Venerable one, my name is Shea Patrick Cormick. I, I am a friend. A friend indeed. You have the gratitude of my people, Shea Patrick Cormick. 
For as long as you shall walk this earth, you will have a place here among us. My thanks. It is I who thank you, young man. Would you be so kind as to walk with me? I am called Onata. There is a legend among my people. It tells of how the land under our feet was born and how good and evil came into this world. The Sky Woman scattered her wisdom throughout our land. If you follow her path, you shall learn the true history of our people and perhaps even uncover the reward locked within this cave. If you are the hero I believe you to be. You honor me. Venerable one. It is you who honor us, Shay Patrick Cormac. Farewell. Get the maids free! Loose the maids! Half sails! Trim us off the wind! Back in your sails! Here they come! Resounding victory! A hard-won victory this is a victory! Country. 
Many died today. Oh, three cheers for Captain. Captain. Whole Most is three cheers. Has the helm. Loose and trim. Cargo adrift, Captain. As we were fishing off Haysboro Light, shooting. The devil! What happened here? Kesegawase. Well, then we are too late. No. Fort Fredericks is nearby. I'm sure the Colonel can hold it. You heard the captain, lads! Make haste! Get me some speed! As much sail as you can! Stop, Captain! Look bad! Brief it on, Tops! Keep her safe while I'm gone, Gist. Aye, Captain.
This is Kasegawas's work, isn't it? I believe it is, but I've not yet seen the devil. The manuscript. You keep it safe. Bring it to the Morrigan. That's an order. Who are you to give me orders? I outrank you. I'm not part of your army, Colonel. I'll take care of the defenses until you get back. Take a watch it. Burn! Do you truly believe you can best me, traitor? Templar dog! Do you truly believe you can best me, traitor? Templar dog! Burn! Templar dog! We trained you well, traitor! Kisigawase! It didn't have to be this way. It did. You are an enemy. Achilles will see you dead. What he's doing is wrong. Who are you to touch? The Templars will fail. You will fail. Monroe is already dead. What do you mean? Liam. Uh, uh. The colonel was heading for the docks. A huge man with an axe was chasing the colonel. You there, stop! How long do you reckon the English and French can fight? I'll catch up with you one way or another! Mark my word! Put out the flames before the fire spreads! The Colonel! He's trapped inside! Help! Save the Colonel! No. Oh. Oh. The manuscript. An assassin took it. Liam. I'll get it back. I swear it. Shay.
Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order? And all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost? I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. You are now a Templar, harbinger of a new world. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the, May the Father, Father of Understanding, understanding guide, guide us. us. Do you understand now? I'm starting to see why you're so interested in Shay Cormac. Shay has seen the true face of the world, and he has chosen his path accordingly. A similar choice will soon present itself to you. I did not think you'd get this far, <laughs> but you seem to be on the right track. We still can't access the servers in the basement, but there's another one located at the top of the building near Melanie's office. That's your next stop. <sighs> I'm bored out of my skull. But orders are orders, and my orders are to stand right here. This office used to belong to a man named Olivier Garneau. He was my predecessor as chief creative officer of Abstergo Entertainment. Otto Berg is a representative from our parent company, Abstergo Industries. He's showing you the true history of the world, just like they showed me. Olivier was kind, he was intelligent and passionate about our work, but a year ago, he caught a glimpse of this truth. They never found his body. This is not the way we normally bring people up to speed on these matters, but you've worked hard and are proving yourself, so... I'm granting you level two security access. The servers on this floor should unlock more of Shay's memories. Francois Macandal saved Baptiste from slavery and inducted him into his so-called brotherhood. Macandal was a vicious mentor, and in his desperate attempt to liberate slaves, he broke his own creed by indiscriminately killing nobles. Misguided as they are, some assassins are honorable. Macandal was not one of them. 
Thanks to the calculating genius of Madeleine de Lille, the Templars made an example of Maganda by way of public execution in 1758. His pathetic excuse for a brotherhood quickly fell apart. When his comrade and childhood friend Agate fled to Louisiana, Baptiste saw the futility of his former life in Macandal's brotherhood. Madeleine saw Baptiste's potential and instructed her Templars in New Orleans to strike a deal with him. If he could draw Agate out of hiding and eliminate him, he would be granted a place in the Templar order. Although Baptiste was killed by the assassin Abelin de Grandpré, his path clearly demonstrates the inherent superiority of Templar ideals over assassin terrorism. I've got your animus ready and waiting. Just saying that Violet didn't have to yell at us for not fixing the elevator before she did. It is 426 on December 13, 2012. The briefing of Sigma Team's Cairo operation. The briefing conducted by a 